Wow, man. This, you know, some news I really don't like to report on. But this one is a guy I've seen throughout my whole life. And I didn't realize how important he could be for other fighters, man. Rafael Garcia, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to Rafael Garcia on this night. He passed away at 88 this morning due to um, issues with leukemia. Man. Rafael. This was the man that uh, Floyd Mayweather called the best hand rapper in the business. Uh, notorious for uh, always being in Floyd Mayweather's corner. Uh, I think in, in, in the later years of his career, he he's also uh, his cut man. <laughs> Oddly enough, Floyd Mayweather never got cut. He never really got cut. You know, he got he got he got nosebleed against uh, Miguel Cotto. Did he ever really get cut? Not to my recollection. I don't recall Floyd ever being cut in the ring. Correct me if I'm wrong. What a job. <laughs> what a job to be the cut man of, 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 of the best fighter of our era with the best defense that I think the world's ever seen. Anyways, uh, Rafael Garcia, man. My condolences, man. Los condolencias. Condolencias to Rafael Garcia, man. I think... Uh, I think all of us got to reflect in terms of what this man had accomplished uh, for for someone like Floyd Mayweather, who had brittle hands. Imagine if he wasn't out there for him. You know, Floyd Mayweather might have broke it, might have broke a hand in, in, his, in his fight, might have taken a loss. So uh, you, you really never know how important a team member like this could be. And yeah, universally known as one of the best cut men in the business. You know, he worked for a lot of different fighters as well. A lot of different fighters. He, you know, right up there with, with a guy like uh, uh, Jacob Stitch Duran, Rafael Garcia, man. Rest in peace, man. That's all I got to say. Rest in peace to this dude, man. He, he, did, he did a lot for the sport. He did a lot. He did a lot for Floyd Mayweather, man. He did. And it's not only that... Uh, Jesse Vargas was his god was his godson. And that's what he had to say. He was my godfather. And he was like a father figure to me. Vargas told ESPN. He's been watching my back since as long as I can remember taking care of me. Every fighter he worked with, he did his best to make sure they were in top condition and at their best. Once he was with you, he never left you. He never turned his back on anyone, win or lose. He was with you to the end. That was something that distinguished him from a lot of other people in the sport. He was honest, truthful, and loyal to his friends, to his family, and to his fighters. But he treated all of us like family. He was sick, but he didn't want anyone to know. He was in our gym walking around looking good, but he was tired. He was a very unique gentleman inside and outside the ring. and We all loved him. He was, he was a very loving person. We lost a great person, but we gained an angel. Wow. Jesse Vargas. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to Rafael Garcia. Passed away this morning at the age of 88. Oh, man. That's bad news, man. That's the bad news, man. E-King fight news.